It's just ridiculous. Look at it on a muddy bike, pants and shoes. These vendors are a complete joke, not designed for fast driving. It is time to think about an alternative solution. It's uh, not possible to buy an off-the-shelf solution, so you have it with it yourself. Namely, uh, it is time to learn how to wiper glass. What I have never done before, the plan is to make an uh, wheel art. The idea comes from a Russian electric cyclist named uh, Was R7 and his well recommend electric bike. And he has used just the wheel art solution I want. Uh, for the mold, I use gypsum boards obtained completely free of charge. The surplus from uh, construction works. The first thing I measure is how wide and long the arch would be. I will definitely put hard margin of the few centimeters for safety reasons. I don't want a situation where the arch could bump against the wheel while driving to causing an accident. I use a wooden board to draw the diameter with the screw attached at one end and a pencil at the other end. Total size of 34 cm, which makes the total length of the arch 68 cm. I recommend not doing it in the bedroom like I do, extremely dusty. It will become a stencil for cutting other blades. I use ordinary sanitary silicone to glue the plates together. I put the weight on the mold and wait until the next day. The silicone is dry. I'm trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like. In the case of gypsum, it's a good feature that it can be created and give corresponding convex angles, while gypsum is very heavy compared to uh, styrofoam mold. For the last sanding, I will use a normal sandpaper. I use aqua stock which straps dust on the surface.
I use paths from Puppeteer to fill holes and uneven places. Again, on the third day, I sand and up the another layer of uh, aqua stone. I use uh, polyester resign uh, for fiberglass, which is uh, cheap but extremely smelly and toxic. I don't do it in my bedroom or <laughs> or on the balcony. The smell is just so bad and makes my neighbors angry. To do this, I decided to go to a forest near my home. Here I make the first uh, fiberglassing of my life. The first mosquitoes were out and made my existence on earth feels like hell. The polyester resign dries quite quickly, uh, example with thickness, and it's not comfortable to apply on the surface, so I have to do it fast. The choice of fiberglass was completely arbitrary for me. The next day, the mold dries up beautifully. Of course, a few small pieces of nature are dried into the mold. It didn't come out as perfect since it's my first fiberglassing, so it was expected. With a bit of an iron saw, I got the, the edges more or less straight. I definitely don't expect this stage right away. Getting the mold is quite challenging and time consuming. I have to make uh, sure that I don't hurt my hand. The edges of the mold are sharp. After 8 hours all the gypsum was obtained from the inside the mold. This is what this looked like. It's not important to me for it to be beautiful, but to protect me from dirt and rain particularly is a key. Now all that is left is to invent a way mounting, uh, mounting it to the front wall of the wheel, so that it doesn't go anywhere. I bought uh, some aluminium profiles for mounting the arts from the construction store. Incredible, the wheel art project was successful and I have already ridden the bike for 10,000 kilometers. The bike is clean, the clothes are clean and it definitely gives the bike a unique look. However, I definitely haven't fully finished fiberglassing, making a battery box, rail wheel art and so on. If somebody thinking of doing the same, be careful with fasteners at the bolt ends, for example, so that the wheel arts would be large enough. Uh, because if the arts is too small, the fastening uh, can bump uh, against the outer tube and uh, serious uh, accidents can happen. So be careful. <laughs> 